To think. To think that a daughter of mine could get mixed up with such filth as this. Edward. This is all your fault, Marie. Uh, my fault? I say, let's call it a night, go to bed, and we'll start fresh in the morning. Homosexuals. Perhaps we should sit out this round. Yeah. March on, Edward. Lead us out of this house of sin. We are right behind you. Sorry, Mother, but we are not right behind you. I'm staying here with Jean Michel, and we are getting married. Dare to defy me, and I will cut you off without a sou. Cut me off? Do you really think I brought you here just to get a dowry? You mean you knew about these people? No, but now that I do, it doesn't matter. I like them. Homosexuals! Oh, Father, don't bellow. They know what they are. Young lady, you march yourself straight out that door. No. I love you, Father. You too, Mother. You're my family. But I love Jean-Michel. So we are going to marry and start our own family. <laughs> family? What sort of family do you think you can raise with this son of a pervert? Being raised as he was by two transvestite homosexuals? Uh, one transvestite. One plain homosexual. <laughs> Deputy Dandon, I must apologize for everything that's happened here tonight. I made a terrible mistake, but I'm going to spend the rest of my life trying to make up for it. And one day I hope to receive forgiveness for being stupid and thoughtless. While I appreciate the sentiment, I do not accept your apology. That's quite all right. As it wasn't to you that I was apologizing, it's to my parents. Parents? <laughs> what parents? Oh, oh, one of them would have possibly fathered you, but you do not expect me to believe that the other one is your mother. That's precisely who he is. I see no mother here. I do. <laughs> <laughs> 